So it comes in that really nice packaging and this almost feels like foam, but it's actually just two pieces of mesh fabric, one with bigger holes, one with smaller holes, and it's really breathable. Like you could see my hand if I push up against it, and then if I don't, obviously can't, but this is nice. And then unraveling it, you'll see the warning labels. Cute little tag. <clears throat> There's two pieces as the instructions say. Some ties. I hear the baby in the background. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this together. To save everyone time, I have put these long and short pieces side by side. They are aligned at the other end. Here, just to show you. And the short piece is the one with the warning label and the logo. The long one does not have the warning label and logo. So this is why I really decided to get the bumpers. I was actually very against the bumpers. Baby started putting his hands through the slats. And as you see here, the electrical wiring is there. I didn't even have this crib next to our curtains, which would have been more convenient for us. Um, but you know, putting it little hands through here that's a big no-no for me. So I was like, you know what? Maybe a mesh one, a mesh liner, not a bumper would work. And I looked it up. Mesh liners are legal. Um, they stopped selling bumpers. They are now illegal to sell, I guess, since 2022. Um, so I'm glad I was able to find something. So I know there's an instructional video that was very helpful, but I know some people may not want, you know, um, an animated one and they'd rather see a real life person. So I'm going to go ahead and weave this in. The point is to cover this liner here. I'll show you I already did this side here and these two poles will stick out. So um, let's go ahead and weave it behind. I'm doing this one-handed as I hold the phone. Cover the pull, weave it behind the other slat, bring it on through, and there you have it. It now has the two here. You will see that the ties are on the outside and at the top, just as the instruction, and then I'm obviously gonna tighten it and I'll show you the finished product. I'm a very literal person. I was a little confused by the hook and loop that the video was demonstrating. This clearly is a Velcro. Um, so there is no hook and loop for those of you who are like Amelia Bedelia, just like me. Anywho, so this is the first slot closest to the corner. Second slot, the video says, depending on where it is, um, the tightest line it up. I went ahead and opened up the Velcro. I'm going to put it around this first slot to make it look just like this one here. So here we go. It's a little hard with one hand as I mentioned. So looping it around the first slot, bringing it in behind the second slot you're going to want to make sure it's nice and velcro it's much easier with both hands and then um you're just going to bring the velcro as snug as possible mine goes all the way here i'm trying to show you sorry to the end so i'm going to bring the velcro all the way to this okay so as i mentioned i brought it all the way to the end kind of just squeeze the top of the velcro squeeze the same as the bottom which again it's aligned all the way to the end and this is what it looks like can you see there so here are the ties at the top there's a second one and a third one I went ahead and tied them they are as you can see lower than the top of the crib part so baby can't necessarily do anything. This one's gonna be against the wall, so 
Okay, again with the video, I'm Amelia Bedelia. I get a little confused because I'm like, the picture clearly shows this slot and this slot, um, you know, without this. So I went ahead and did it over here on this side so you'll see what it looks like. I mean, this is literally the only possible configuration it could be. Um, Unless, of course, yours was, your crib is smaller, and but mine's a standard crib, so I don't know. Anywho, um, this is what it looks like. Back here, again, on this side, I aligned the Velcro. Once I'm over there on that end, I'm not going to be able to align it. I think it's going to be more like to the halfway point or three-fourths or something. I don't know exactly. But I Velcroed it at both ends. The slot is on this outside, it's nice and snug, and we'll go from there. So I went ahead and unbroke-load it. I'm going to slide it behind this slot, covering this middle post, just like the instructions say. Bring it back, and then normally, if that wasn't there, you would stick this through, but the instructions say do the long one first, and this is the short one. And like I said, it's like, I'm a million bedelia. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is bring it behind this next one as if this liner in the front was not here. And then I'm going to wrap it around. And again, this is not going to go all the way to the end as the other one. I'm going to just align to the top here so it's nice and aligned as possible. It's not going all the way to this end right over here, like I did on the other side. And then I'm gonna just snugly pull this one as well and adjust it and stick it together. And then I'm going to align the top, I'm sorry, the long and the short together like that. So this is how it looks super secure and then I'm gonna do the same exact thing with these ties on this one as I did on the back okay so I have all ties on the front I already had it on the back as you can see the next step is to pull this down to the inch of the mattress oh gotta make sure it's nice and flat to begin with so that's what I'm gonna do now okay so I already started doing it on one side as I've done with the other and please excuse my baby he needs to <laughs> take a nap so I'm just pulling from the back side here um, just pulled it all the way around I started at one end went down this front side then I went to the back side and now I'm just gonna show you the rest of the way I'm doing the sides first because I just think personally that is the easiest after I've already done one end of the crib so now I'm just pulling that down and aligning this make sure this is aligned so it's a little bit more than an inch but you know like I said the main thing is to protect their little hands and legs from going through the slats, whether it's because they're getting their, you know, knees caught in there, um, or like in my case, the electrical. So now you see, this is what it looks like in the end. Okay, so looking at the sheet instructions, it is a little bit more helpful in the sense that it shows you, when you get to the short panel, that it will look like that. So yay, I did it right. Um, so that's nice to know. 